Hello, everybody. Uh, we're going to continue our discussion of chapter two in the second grade Go Math textbook. We're on page 81 today. And our topic today is what are three ways that we can write a three digit number? In our last lesson, we talked about two ways, right? We could write it in word form, and we can also write it in what we call standard form, which is just a number form. So listen to this question, okay? And you can put pause on the video for each question that I give you. All right, so let's say Evan has 426 marbles. Again, Evan has 426 marbles. How many hundreds, tens, and ones are in 426? Okay, so now it says write the number and use the digits to write how many hundreds, tens, and ones. So I said Evan has 426 marbles. So go ahead and hit pause and write the number here and then tell me how many hundreds, tens, and ones are in that number. Okay, so you should have written 426 and then how many hundreds are there? Well, there's four hundreds. How many tens? There are two tens. And how many ones? Six ones. All right, now listen to this part of it. Okay, and again, hit pause after I read the question. So now let's say Evan has 204 marbles. How many hundreds, tens, and ones are in 204? Four. Go ahead and hit pause and write the number here and tell me how many hundreds, tens, and ones are in 204. Okay, so you should have written 204. Okay, hopefully you didn't write just 24 because that wouldn't be 200, that would be 24. If you wrote 40, that's not 204, that would be 240. So when we say 204, that just means there's no tens, okay? 204, two hundreds, zero tens, and four ones. All right, one more. Now let's imagine that Evan has 341 marbles. How many hundreds, tens, and ones are in the number 300? 41. Go ahead, put pause on the video and write those, write the number here and how many hundreds, tens, and ones here. All right, 341. So there's three hundreds, four tens, and one one. All right? All right, so let's continue on to page 82. All right. So we can use a quick picture to show a number, okay? This is the uh, 100 blocks. These are 10 blocks or 10 rods, and these are ones. So in 536, we can say there's 500, three tens, and six ones. Well, we can also write that broken apart, or what we call expanded form, 500, plus 30, plus 6. And then we can write it in standard form as 536. Okay. All right, so let's try one on our own. Read the number and draw a quick picture, then write the number in different ways. 407. 407. So what does that look like? Well, we have 400 blocks. Okay, so there's 407. That means there's no tens, right? So we need seven ones. Okay, so that's the quick picture. So what do we have? We have four hundreds. We didn't write any tens, and we have seven ones. Now let's write, write that in its place values. Four hundreds, I would write that as 400. Zero tens is zero. Seven ones, seven. Put it together in standard form, 407. 
All right, let's try this one. 325. 320. Well, that would be two tens, right? So 325. So we have five ones. All right. So how many hundreds do we have? We have three hundreds. We have two tens and five ones. What's the value of three hundreds? Three hundred. What's the value of two tens? Twenty. What's the value of five ones? Five. So what is this number when we write it together? 325. 253. So we have two hundreds. One, two, three, four, five tens, fifty, and three ones. Two hundred fifty-three. So two hundreds, five tens, three ones, which is the same as writing two hundred plus fifty plus three, which is written as 253 in standard form. Okay, so we see our three ways that we're, we can write these, plus we also have the written word form. All right, let's go to page 83 and number four. All right, read the number and draw a quick picture, and then write the number in different ways. If you feel like you're understanding this, you can go ahead and pause the video, finish page 83 by yourself, and then maybe uh, hit play again just to check your answers, okay? All right, 172. <clears throat> 100, 7, 10, 72. So, 172. Three hundred forty six. Three hundreds, four tens, six ones. I'm going to write that as three hundred. Four tens is worth forty, and six ones is worth six. Right in standard form as just 346. 264. 200s. So two hundreds, six tens, four ones. And we can write that as 264. So in standard form, 264 is written 264. All right, our last one. Ellen used these blocks to show 452. What is wrong? Cross out blocks and draw quick pictures for the missing blocks. Well, let's see. She has 300s. She has 2, 4, 5, 7, 10s. So if she has 300 seven tens and zero ones, she has 300 plus 70 plus zero. So she wrote 370. Okay, so clearly there's a problem. Let's see, 452. So does she have enough hundreds? No, she's, she's missing a hundred block. So let's add that in. All right, so now we have 400. And we have seven tens. I don't need seven tens. I need five tens. Okay, so let's cross out those. All right. So now we have four hundreds, five tens. How many ones do I need? I need two ones. Okay. So she should have written four hundred, fifty. 
So basically, she left off 100, and she wrote the two ones as two tens. So it should have been just two circles, not two ten rods. Okay, remember, a straight line are tens. Okay, All right, so that was the mistake she made. All right, so that's it for our lesson on different forms of numbers. So until next time, I will see you soon.